with a platform like Tanium, you're able to query the assets themselves in a very smart way uh, and have that platform you know, provide the data and control layer, if you like, for your organization. So if you think about classic architecture, this, this, is, the this is the data source and the control points. It will then feed other systems like your serv uh, service nows of this world, the other CMDBs, the IT uh, service management suites, and, and other cyber tools. Um, but unless you have that that um, first starting point of what are your IT assets, you're really lost. You know, you're um, you, you can't manage what you can't measure, as they say. Uh, and in order to do anything effectively, in order to automate you know, IT, the first starting point is getting a good good picture of what your IT assets are. Not only the hardware, but what software is running on them, what processes are running. You know, that, that allows you, it gives you the baseline, it gives you the foundations to operate. Should you have a cyber breach or should you have something that you need to pivot to really quickly, you can, you know, you can use that information and, and, and that's the, the lifeblood of the IT organization. Once you've got that information, you need to be able to do something, right? So it's all well and good having all this information at your fingertips, but you need to be able to take action. And the beauty of Tanium is it also, through its clever architecture, allows you to push out what are called actions. So these are little snippets, these little commands uh, with, with, with some files. You can go and make changes to those computers, you know, uh, go and quickly fix something, update, patch, so on and so forth. And, and that's the whole premise of, of, our, of our platform uh, and why I'm really passionate about, you know, particularly when you look at things like IT audit, you know, you bring auditors in, often very expensive, and they're doing things manually. You know, so the first few weeks of an audit is them going around and actually finding out what you have. That's, it, it, for me, it makes no sense when those things can be queried and you can discover that information automatically. Um, you know, organizations could save an awful lot of money purely just looking at IT audit by, by, by doing that in, in a different way. The other th way to look at this is if disjointed data in silos, having lots of different point solutions. So the risk team, the IT risk team having one solution, the cybersecurity team having another, uh, and, and uh, IT operations having yet another tool. You know, that's just three different conflicting sources of data. And you'll have the cybersecurity team saying to the IT operations team, guys, you're, you're, not, you're not doing a good enough job. It, this is this is my picture of the world, and the IT operations team will push back and say, "No, that's not my picture of the world." So the other piece for me is it's not it's not just enough to automate this and uh, and, and query. You need to be providing a single point of truth to all these different teams that are working off this data, so that everyone can work together and collaborate effectively. And so that's you know, that, that, that for me is um, yeah, an interesting the problem that the IT department is facing at the moment. Whilst everyone's distracted, quite rightfully, with the business priorities. In order to transform and in order to be more effective and more cost effective, this is something that IT departments really need to get on, on top of and, and really think about some more.